see this it's Sunday there's a few little jobs that I need to do on the car today that have been outstanding for ages changing the boot seal because the gap isn't good oh my one sec and we're gonna throw the front windscreen in without hopefully cracking it also if you haven't noticed this is the new sample of the hat and also this is the other sample of the hat so let me know what you think I'm gonna wear the black one in this one that's the better one if you like it and you want one uh, let me know so I can get a rough idea of how many to order and all money that is generated from this which is minimal profit will go towards the next build which is not the transporter the next classic car so other than that we're gonna crack on but my cat has just urinated or oh, the pussy 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 has just urinated there so I'm gonna have to clean that up first. <laughs> Three things you will need for putting this boot seal on is the different style boot seal and this is the one that goes on the actual boot lid. If anyone's asking, if you're a novelty like me, you will have ordered the clips and actually realised they're for earlier cars with the earlier boot lids. If anyone wants to know, they slide in this crevice and then click into the boot. And the third and fifth is obviously tune, 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 tunes. So that's with no seal on it now, but if you look at the gap there, it's flush, whereas before it was stood really far out. So we're going to try and lose that so it sits flush in the corners. The old seal's been removed. Let's put the new one on. We're going to use glue. So I think I'm going to have to wait until I've got all the proper stuff to do that boot seal because that glue is sh It just doesn't stick at all. It just dries too quick. It literally dries within a second. So you can't do anything with it. So now I'm going to move on to putting the windscreen in. This is the cup. I can only hope that that's not cracked. That is what we're going to try and get in the car without cracking it. So I think the first thing I best do is check if I have cracked it. So there should only be one way that this goes in. That is the outside of the trim. seals in and take some of these rags I'm gonna get some masking tape and I'm gonna cover the bonnet with rags and everything just in case the edge of the windscreen slips or a screwdriver and we take the paint off the car so I'm gonna cover that up and then I'm gonna show you what you need to actually try and get the window in it gets of warm water good old friend slippery and sliding don't have to be fairy but you know now you're simply just going to want to soak this rag get all the seal nice and wet so then hopefully it'll slip it <laughs> see that but I've cracked the windscreen so <sighs> so close to getting it in and then I just pushed a bit too much leverage on it and it's shattered across there brilliant so 
It's been a stressful day here in the makeshift garage. I've uploaded this purely just to show you that I'm not frightened about my mistakes. If there's any tips that anyone can give me for getting those in, let me know. I'm gonna now have to drive back up to Paddy to pick another one up because they won't deliver them in case they break. So I'm gonna buy two just in case I break it again and then I can take one back. So that'll be next weekend now when I drive up there. Broke it. Everything I've tried to do today has not really worked. What I will say is thanks for watching. I hope it made you laugh even though I'm fuming inside but you know, you learn from mistakes. I just probably put a bit too much force on it just went right across. I'm going to put it away because I don't want to be doing this while I'm still in a bit of a rubbish mood annoyed and making more mistakes. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, smash that like button and uh, check out my website totalcarviews.com. Check out my GoFundMe page, have a read, see what you think and also let me know what you think of these hats. If you want one, let me know. I'll order some. Like I say, all the money made from them, which is minimal, will strictly be going to the next project. So again, thanks for watching and uh, yeah, cue the drone footage.